The Ashkenazi, a Jewish community settled in Central and Eastern Europe, occupies a distinctive position in cultural, scientific, and genetic history. They are notable not only for their exceptional intellectual contributions, but also for their complex genetic structure and migratory history, which have prompted extensive research into the relationships among genetics, history, and culture. This complexity makes the Ashkenazi one of the most extensively studied ethnic communities in terms of genetics, anthropology, and cultural history. Traditionally, the Ashkenazi Jewish community is considered the direct descendants of Jewish communities from the kingdoms of Israel and Judah in the ancient Levant, exiled after 70 CE and subsequently migrating throughout the Mediterranean and Europe. Jewish texts record the presence of the Ashkenazi in the Rhineland, Germany, from around the 10th century, after which they spread to Poland, Lithuania, and other parts of Eastern Europe. The name Ashkenaz in Hebrew eventually came to refer to the German Polish lands where these communities settled. Ashkenazi culture developed at a crossroads of European civilizations, where they absorbed local influences while maintaining a distinct Jewish identity. The Yiddish language, originating from Middle High German and incorporating elements of Hebrew and Slavic languages, became a distinctive cultural marker. Beyond serving as a means of communication, Yiddish reflects the community's history of migration, integration, and identity preservation. It absorbs vocabulary, syntax, and structures from multiple sources, creating a linguistic cultural map of the community. Alongside a history of trade, migration, and at times persecution through expulsions, pogroms, and genocide, the Ashkenazi community developed as a spiritual minority with strong traditions in scholarship, education, and commerce. It was precisely this cultural framework that laid the foundation for their intellectual achievements and global contributions in the 20th century. To explain the origins and genetic structure of the Ashkenazi, scientists have employed three main tools. The Y chromosome, Y DNA, tracing paternal lineage, mitochondrial DNA, mtDNA, tracing maternal lineage, and autosomal genome analysis, inherited from both parents. For Y DNA, comprehensive studies indicate that Ashkenazi Y DNA belongs to haplogroups J and E, characteristic of populations from the Middle East and the Levant, consistent with the hypothesis of migration from the Near East. However, a significant portion of Y-DNA belongs to haplogroup R1AM582, predominantly found in Ashkenazi Levite males. This is a distinctive branch of R1A, suggesting an independent development within the Eastern European Jewish community in contrast to the predominantly Levantine origin of Y chromosomal lineages, the mitochondrial DNA of Ashkenazi Jews exhibits a strikingly distinct pattern. Approximately 40% of Ashkenazi mtDNA variation is attributable to four founding maternal lineages with a clear prehistoric European origin. Haplogroups K1A1B1A, K1 and 9, K2A2A1, all within haplogroup K, and N1B within haplogroup N. Haplogroup K alone accounts for 32, 49% of total Ashkenazi mtDNA, and is estimated to have arisen 10,000, 20,000 years ago, derived from post-glacial European female populations. The N1B lineage, representing to 6.9% of mtDNA variation, reflects ancient gene flow between European and Near Eastern populations. These data indicate that while the paternal Y DNA of Ashkenazi Jews predominantly traces to the Levant, the maternal mtDNA largely derives from indigenous European women who likely integrated into the nascent Ashkenazi community through marriage or conversion during its early formation in Europe. Autosomal analysis shows that, on average, Ashkenazi individuals carry approximately 50-60% Middle Eastern genetic components and 40-50% European, primarily Southern European, ancestry. Principal component analysis, PCA, and admixture place them between European and Levantine clusters, reflecting complex admixture over centuries. This explains why Ashkenazi are not genetically identical to any other Jewish groups, such as Sephardi or Mizrahi. 
Based on historical and genetic evidence, a plausible scenario for the formation of the Ashkenazi can be reconstructed as follows. Initially, groups of Jewish men from the Levant or Near East migrated to the Mediterranean region, settling in Jewish communities in Italy and other parts of Southern Europe during the Roman period. There, many local European women joined or converted to the community, serving as founding maternal lineages, a pattern confirmed by mtDNA. Following this phase, the Ashkenazi community began moving northward to the Rhineland, Germany, around the 10th century, later spreading to Poland, Lithuania, and Eastern Europe. Along this journey, the community experienced periods of population growth, but was also affected by bottlenecks, population decline and isolation, and endogamy, resulting in a relatively homogeneous genetic structure. Additionally, whole genome analysis based on the first reference panel for Ashkenazi individuals indicates that they constitute a relatively isolated population closely related to both European and Middle Eastern groups. Long-term isolation and endogamy have created a distinct genetic foundation that carries both advantages and disadvantages. For example, immune diversity may be enhanced through admixture, but there is also an increased risk of familial mutations. In addition to the analyses above, there exists a hypothesis that has sparked prolonged debate among historians and geneticists, the Khazar hypothesis. The Khazar hypothesis proposes that a significant portion of Ashkenazi Jews may be descended from the Khazars, a Turkic state located on the steppes north of the Black Sea. A prominent study examining the potential role of the Khazars in the formation of the Ashkenazi community is Aaron L. Hike's 2012 research. In this study, Elhike utilized publicly available genetic data from multiple modern populations and applied various analytical and quantitative methods to compare the genetic similarities of Ashkenazi Jews with groups from the Levant, Europe, and the Caucasus, which were considered representative of the Khazar population. The analysis results indicate that Ashkenazi Jews exhibit a genetic mosaic comprising Levantine and European components, along with a small proportion showing similarity to populations from the Northern Caucasus divided by Khazars. Based on this, El Haik suggested that part of the Ashkenazi ancestry may be linked to the Khazars. However, El Haik's study has also been criticized because using modern populations as proxies for the Khazars is inaccurate, given that no direct ancient Khazar genetic samples exist for comparison. In other words, El Haik's conclusions merely suggest a potential role of the Khazars in the complex genetic landscape of the Ashkenazi, but do not provide compelling evidence for a predominant Khazar origin. Thus, the role of the Khazars, if any, represents only a minor component in the Ashkenazi genetic mosaic and cannot be considered a dominant origin or a replacement for the already established Middle Eastern European lineages. In other words, there is currently no genetic evidence strong enough to assert that Ashkenazi Jews are primarily descended from the Khazars. This hypothesis can only be regarded as a supplementary explanation accounting for a small portion of the community's genetic diversity. Beyond genetics, Ashkenazi culture has played a crucial role in community cohesion and in enabling exceptional achievements. From traditions of study, Talmud, Torah, scholarly debate, to small but intellectually vibrant community networks and the use of Yiddish as a cultural bridge between Jewish and European spheres, these elements together formed a social mechanism that prevented the community from being assimilated into the majority societies. This environment, combined with historical opportunities, European states permitting Jews to engage in intellectual professions, commerce, banking, and scholarship produced an achievement effect. Some researchers suggest there may be interactions between genetic factors, regions of the genome related to cognition or neural function, and cultural environment, but caution is necessary, as arguments linking genes to intelligence are highly sensitive and complex. Furthermore, the Ashkenazi have endured a dark history. Expulsions, pogroms, and the Holocaust left the community both as victims and survivors, carrying a profound collective memory. This experience has also reinforced their cultural identity, resilience, and the tradition of learning to survive. In Israel, the Ashkenazi group from Europe played a central role in the founding of the state, 
its governmental structures and intellectual life, sometimes leading to accusations of preferential, access to power, capital, and influence. Tensions between Ashkenazi and other Jewish groups, Sephardi, Mizrahi, Beta Israel, and Jews from Central Asia, over cultural, political, and resource distribution issues are a present reality, with discussions occasionally referencing their distinct genetic and cultural backgrounds. The Ashkenazi provide a clear illustration of how history, migration, religion, and social choices, marriage, conversion, community structure, are inscribed in the genome. They are not pure in a simple sense, but rather the product of Levantine migration, admixture with local women in the Mediterranean, followed by expansion and isolation in Central and Eastern Europe. From a humanistic perspective, genetics does not replace memory, belief, or identity. The Ashkenazi are a community bound by religion, language, culture, and survival history. A vivid example showing that an ethnic group can be the product of ideas, traditions, and social choices rather than merely a genetic signature.